Right, so today's video is basically about how you can succeed in your medical school interview. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm recording in the bathroom and it's because I've got the window just there and there's actually good lighting in the bathroom. Anyways, let's get started on the video. First thing I need to mention is don't expect any interviews at all. I know it sounds pessimistic or, or negative or whatever, but the reason for this is because say if you do expect interviews and you don't get any interviews, when your exams come, you're just going to be demotivated. You're just going to, you're just going to think, oh, you know, I didn't get any interviews. Is there any point in me revising? You're not going to try as hard as you would have. Whereas say if you don't expect any interviews and you do actually get an interview, you're going to be absolutely buzzing. You're going to be over the moon that you've got an interview. This leads on to my number one tip. Number one. Now that you're excited after hearing that you've got your first interview, make sure you use that to do a shitload of work. So by that, I mean research the medical school. Make a Word document and copy and paste all the information that you can find about the medical school. About the course structure, the patient contacts, the exam style, stuff like that. And always have in the back of your mind, think to yourself, what actually attracts me about this university? Because it'll help you when the interview question, when you start to prepare for your interview questions. Look on websites such as Google, uh, the student room, or even the university website. They have, the university website has so much on the actual course structure and the exams and stuff. So yeah, look everywhere on the internet. My second tip is research the med school interview questions. So basically type into Google um, King's College interview questions or Newcastle University Medicine interview questions and obviously you're not going to get a full list of all the questions that they're going to ask you, that's a bit obvious, but go on the student room and there'll be one student who says oh yeah I got asked this question and then another student might say oh yeah and I got asked this question and there'll be loads of them <clears throat> and you just build up a word document a separate word document with all the interview questions. If you can't find any interview questions for that specific uni, for example, anyone who applies to King's College will know that you're, not, you're never gonna find any interview questions because they're so strict about their interview that no one ever has spoken about their interview questions on online. So you're not, if for like King's College, you're not gonna find any interview questions. Look for all the popular interview questions that I get asked at universities uh, nationally. And make a word document of all those popular interview questions. Stuff like why medicine, why not nursing, why this university, stuff like that. Third thing to do is look through your personal statement for all the traps that you've set up for yourself. So say you mentioned, oh yeah, I read the BMJ daily, or oh yeah, I did the Duke of Edinburgh gold award, stuff like that. Well, they're gonna ask you about that. Like, where did you do Duke of Edinburgh? All right, I see you've mentioned you did canoeing. Where, which river did you do that on? Or say that you've mentioned the BMJ, they're gonna ask you, what article have you read? Please tell us about one. And if you say, oh, actually I haven't read one recently or something like that, or I stopped re reading it, it's not, gonna leave, it's not gonna give them a good impression of you. The fourth thing to do is learn about the NHS, the GMC, the BMA, NICE. They're gonna ask you about them probably. So they'll say, what is the role of the GMC? And you need to know. Tip number five, think of an illness that you've got in your family. So say if diabetes runs in your family or obesity or multiple sclerosis, something, anything, whatever illness someone has got in your family, type that into Google News and read an article that interests you. The reason for this is because in a lot of interviews, they ask you, have you read an article recently related to health that has interested you and I remember getting asked this question and I said to the interviewer all right yeah well basically diabetes runs in my family and recently I read this article on diabetes and weightlifting and honestly I could see the interviewer's face she was just like oh do you want an unconditional offer now or after the interview but seriously this will help because you can relate that article back to yourself so you know it's more personal it shows that you actually did read the article for a real reason not just because you had to read it for the interview so tip number six is basically you can start your interview questions don't start practicing interview questions up until this point up until you've done all your research your personal statement the articles everything then start practicing for interview questions 
So basically, you should have a Word document of um, interview questions to practice from. By the way, you don't have to buy books that are like 20, 30 quid or anything like that. There's so many interview questions online, you just have to look properly for them. I was practicing with a friend who was also doing medicine and I'd ask him one question and he'd ask me that same question and we'd criticize each other's answers. So I'd criticize his answer, I'd say, look, I think you should do this or I think you should do that. You might have not noticed it, but I noticed you doing this. And it's, it's all constructive criticism. So the best thing to do is practice with a friend who's doing medicine. But if you can't find a friend who's doing medicine or if you don't have any friends or whatever the reason, ask a teacher or ask your siblings or your parents. I'm sure someone will help, but you need, I never practiced much by myself. I practiced basically the whole thing with friends. And before you start practicing the questions, make sure you have a long list of interview questions that will come up and make sure you put the most important ones first. So like why medicine, why not nursing, um, why this university? You need to practice these ones first and make sure you write out the these ones on the, the answer for these questions on a separate paper. So why medicine? That is, these are one of the most important questions. So you obviously need to write out the answer on a separate piece of paper. Why King's College? You, again, you need to write out the answer on a separate paper just so that you don't forget. And spend time analyzing your answer and trying to improve your answer. Um, not just, so just, you know, if you, if you get asked why medicine, not just, oh yeah, because I like biology and I like helping people. If you want to leave a good first impression, you need to, give them, you know, an answer that will wow them. But those are basically my tips and advice for getting into medical school um, and getting past your interview. I got an interview from King's College, Newcastle and Durham, and I got all three offers. I did do quite well in my interview, but I prepared so much for them. Like, I'm not being cocky, but I, I just prepared a shitload for them. Um, so make sure you do your preparation. And the day before, or you know, the day before or on the day, just just relax, just think to yourself, you know, they obviously like you, which is why you've got through the, through to the interview process, and you just need to act normal, be yourself, and not do anything stupid, and you're basically in. If I do think of anything else, any other tips, I'll probably put it in the description below, or I'll make a separate video, but, that's everything for now. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and hopefully I'll have some more videos coming up soon. Thanks for watching.